Let's face it, people, when we're working on a project in our lives, there's gonna be deadlines. In this micro nugget, let's explore incorporating these deadlines into our Microsoft project file, and we're gonna answer a very important question. Why wouldn't you simply use a task constraint? Let's get started. So let's examine what someone would do to implement a deadline in Microsoft Project, especially if they haven't had our training in Project here at CBT Nuggets. They would say something like, deliver finished product. And let's say they make this a one-day duration task. They would be tempted to have this automatically scheduled, of course, and they would be very tempted to go into this task and on the advanced task information pane, they would be very tempted to go ahead and input a constraint. Must finish on, and then they would put in what they conceive as their deadline, right? We'll say must finish on Thursday, July 11th. We say okay, and notice what happens. This is kind of profound when we think about it here. The task moves out to that day. It must finish on Thursday, the 11th of July. But wait a minute, wait a minute. That's our deadline. As a matter of fact, Project did a pretty evil thing when you think about it from a project management perspective. It pushed it out to that particular date. Yeah, we don't want that. We could potentially finish this project and be able to deliver the product to someone sooner. And this must finish on task constraint is not flexible enough for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to undo that and we're going to drop in a deadline. Watch. We'll go back into the, the task information for this task and we're going to go in and we're going to say, wait a minute now, let's go back to an as soon as possible. Let's get rid of this concept of a constraint date. I'll just backspace and get rid of that. Now, as far as a deadline goes, yeah, there is a particular deadline that we have in mind with this particular task. Notice what's happening now. Microsoft Project gets it back to an as soon as possible default flexible constraint type. And notice it drops in a deadline. Yeah, we can see the green arrow indicating the deadline for this particular task. If we should go over this deadline, like this thing ends up stretching out to seven days, the deadline marker here is going to indicate for us that we've gone over deadline. By the way, the formatting there now is tough to see. So remember, we can format anything any way we want in Microsoft Project just by going to the view and format tabs respectively. So you could go in and you could manipulate the formatting here. So I suggest we should take advantage of this deadline oftentimes as opposed to setting a less flexible constraint type like must finish on inside Microsoft Project. Well, I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.